Island of Mech style, but... Well, people start blind countering his glides, man. Yeah, actually, that is true. But, I mean, it's just so cool how you can see the accumulation of small efficiencies can make something seemingly nutty, like what Legionnaire is doing, actually legitimate. Like, I want to try to do what Legionnaire did yeah. now and just try to practice I couldn't that. believe he made the Nexus there. I was just like... <laughs> yeah. This is why I always land an eBay at the base behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. We saw that, dude. You actually mined out the mineral where the Nexus goes so you could land an engineering bay on top of it. Is that... Uh, yeah. Wait. No, no, no. He dropped a probe and mined that mineral. Why would I mine the mineral? You can land the eBay closer to the... The minerals, right? Yeah, you can land the eBay and still block the Nexus. Yeah. Just, just let it. Just let this, just <laughs> okay, let this okay. Through. I'm sorry. Um, we got Legionnaire in the bottom left and G5 in the top right. Legionnaire, very fitting at the bottom here, as he is from the land down under. Take, I write, I write my own jokes, guys. Wow. I write my own jokes. Take it one step further, Nick. Um. I'm like, Foster's Australian for beer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, actually, I've actually found this hilarious thing out that. If you because you know Fosters is not they don't have Fosters in Australia or they didn't when it came out right but uh, one of the easiest ways to tilt an Australian person is to be like I really like Fosters. Is that so? They get yeah they get super. Yeah, they they're like, it's not even in Australia. Yeah, yeah. It's not even in Australia. Yeah. Pardon me. <laughs> we need in control back here with the Australian eggs. We're so bad at this. No, my mine is okay. Mine was I'm great. not going to do it oh, again, no, but Dan, mine yours is just mine unreal. You actually morph into an Australian when you do yours, Artos. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> so that pylon's in the wrong spot. I know exactly where a pylon should go on Savage this map. burn. Yeah. Savage. That's not where I place my I love pylon. This. See, Noni, I'm in the same position because my hand's broken, and so I, don't, I, I can't play, so all I can yeah. do is sit here and back <laughs> this game and be like, yeah, I would have done that differently. It, it, in our practice group so long ago, this used to be like a, a running joke because we'd watch Noni play his games, and every game in the matchup on the position on the map his, every building would be exactly in the same place, so I came up with this strat that, like, I just send out one of my first four SCVs and hold position it where the first pylon goes and Noni rage quits. <laughs> wait, so wait, I don't know what to do! <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, which, which spot are you saying the pylon's in the wrong place? This one, this one. Well, right here. technically both of them, but this one stands out to me more. Too wait, close wait, where's to it Nexus. supposed to be? I would, I would space it out from the Nexus more like that one. Mm. Now, is this because... Do you, you always want the core there next to the gas, by the way? Does that actually make it mine a little bit more effectively? Or yeah. don't, the, don't the probes, like, bounce off the core when it's finished or something like that? Uh, if it's one spot to the left, they'll bounce off the core, but that's the oh! correct spot. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's bounce. He's like... Well, no, he's okay. Ready? Oh, oh, there he is. Excuse me. It's like every third mining. Yeah. Wait, no? Yeah, okay. It's still a Hold on. spot. We can zoom in on there, too, right? Oh, there, there it is. There he goes. There's that little bounce. God, that's right. but hey, as long as he's there, by the time yeah, the other guy pops out, you're fine. But this one's going to do it. Th that's, that's the spot to maximize efficiency, though. Well, now he needs a pylon to the right there so that bounce doesn't happen. The probe just, like, ricochets in. When, when you guys uh, got back into playing Brood War, did you do uh, some of these moves? You're like, oh, I know how to do this to make the mine faster. And then the, the building finishes and the probes are popping out on the other oh, side God, of the simulator. And you're like, oh, I'll just leave now. <laughs> that's when I turn off my computer and i got to tell my opponent lightning struck my house or something. <laughs> Oh my. Now, Legionnaire on this map can't hide a, a base in the same way he could on, um, yeah. on yeah. what you might call on Python. I actually do want to come back and ask Noni about these pylon placements. Is that you yeah. want the spacing to be able to run probes from Reavers, but then also get your Dragoons into the back of your base? Like, what yeah, are, what exactly. are some of the considerations there? Yeah. yeah, I think you need to uh, leave some alleys open for your Dragoons to be able to get where they need to go. Actually, one thing that's really important to note, go over to G5's main base, like right over his mineral patch. If you box your workers and you tell them to go mine at your natural expansion, notice this path uh, right between the cybernetics core and the nexus. Your probes will form a line in there when they're running to the left. And if a reaver is shooting any probe except for the very back one, the scarab will be forced into a line behind the probes and the reaver shot will never explode. So, like, that building Damn. placement basically lets you never lose probes to Reavers if you react quickly enough. Wow. That was actually pretty sick. Yeah, that's a good explanation. Noni's, Noni's just mind is blown right now. Well, that's why Noni <laughs> drops a Reaver in the front, too, so when they're running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, what are you going to do there, Day 9? 
<laughs> he calls it the triangle attack. Yeah. Okay. He, call, he, you guys he don't calls even it know. the Bermuda Triangle because all the probes disappear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do the boxer where you drop one reaver out of vision and then you go around with your shuttle oh, and you yeah. fly it in from a different angle. They retreat all the probes from the, the shuttle oh straight into the reaver that's waiting right out of vision. It's brilliant. So this game looks standard, but knowing these players, it's going to get weird at some point. He was aggressive and it worked out. But in this game, I feel like they'll each have opportunities to get easy wins if they can find the right thing to do in the heat of the moment. I feel like, especially if they both have to just engage each other with Dragoons and Reavers, I, even as good as Legionnaire is, I think G5 might just be better at that overall. I play G5 a lot in PvP. He's a really good yeah. Goon Reaver control, and he knows yeah. he's he's a lot more deceptive than a lot of other uh, Protosses on where mm -hmm. he gets the Reaver set up to hit you at a weird side. Oh man, Nick, do you remember when you were running that one gate Zealot into immediate expand? Build yeah, that was kind of like a, it was sort of like so. a gimmick. But it, I, the thing is, is that it you know some of these builds like you can you can do them, and if somebody plays really good players all the time. They don't know what to do if you do something like that. Was it the one where I, I make, what, what, yeah, I make a nexus or something, a gateway, and I rush with the zealot and make a nexus. And yeah, then... you would go like pylon gate yeah. zealot nexus zealot core. Yeah, and um, and then you got to figure out okay, like how are, are they teching hard off this? And then you could, there's like a couple of branches in there. Mm. I don't know if it's actually like viable any, anymore, but but I mean it's that's because you know what I was doing that is because I didn't want to go Dragoon Reaver. I got so frustrated with having to just have yeah my games yeah. boiled down to Dragoon Reaver fights that I started getting really weird and out there with these builds that um yeah Nick, do you remember when uh, it was on Shin Peaks of Baekdu where you had this cannon rush? This taste was special. Oh my god, was that yeah, against remember, Noni or it was, was that against, against Noni? G5? It was against Noni. I did it to Noni. I did it to G Five. There's this build that I had. It you was could so only sick. do it one time. <laughs> you could only do it one time, and it was the sickest cannon rush. Yeah, I remember that game very well. Yeah, and then I did it to, to G Five only. Then he started cannon rushing behind me and my minerals. Yes, and then, I and then remember even, that. Oh my god, I don't know if we'll ever have that. If we can find that replay, but maybe one of us. No, has. I think oh, it's lost to time. Hold on, great angle right there from Lee. Well, did not get as many kills as I thought though. But that was a. So good, Great though. angle to sweep in it. Mm. He's so good with speed shuttles. But yeah, that 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 build, I, I got the. Uh, I found out that a forge and a core. Yes. Put in a certain corner. It's nothing, so hilarious. Nothing the wall could get with through the core it. On a cannon and then rush. I run into their base, uh, and I put it on low ground in this weird corner. And then I just run in with a probe, and I and the, the cannon's already done. Low ground. I start making cannons there while my zealot runs in from mm -hmm. into his main and starts hitting stuff. Now. That's why I never won WCGs. I was doing these <laughs> stupid builds that were never going to work in the long run, guys. It was just... Uh, yep. Dude, they're, they're, it, is, it is an entirely different world doing a cheesy one-time build versus, like, trying to win a yeah, tournament. Yeah, just they're like, okay, yeah. we got to like, spend our money and, and get good at moving across the map with Reavers and Dragoons. Yeah, but, God, is it fun when you do that super oh, it's so stupid, rewarding. cheesy thing? I remember I, I remember there was, a, there was a build that I actually worked really hard on to make really legit which was a seven pool opening on Azalea. And I was playing against you, Noni, and you're the only Protoss player in the universe that opens two gate. <laughs> no, I remember but, that. And I get there and there's just like a zealot and two more vets pop out. And I'm like, all right, good game. <laughs> yeah, just... I remember that. I remember figuring out like, oh, I can go two gate on this map. And it actually is pretty solid against everything. And it actually just like outright wins games against some tendencies that Zerks like to do. And here we oh. go. Oh, my, 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 my. Wait, what? You get like one probe? Wow! Oh, G5's target firing was exceptional there. Because, I mean, a lot of times you get freaked out about the shuttle, and Legionnaire protected the shuttle properly, but the target firing in G5 just picks off the Reaver and then instant counter push. I mean, G5 is doing these moves that are like hallmark strong player things, like nice defense, instant counter push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I feel that. Legionnaire. Might just get pushed here. Wait, does he have a reaver back at the um, the natural? He has one. one. He has one. He needs some pylons out there on the bridge. G5 yeah. actually built one that can really mess with the attacking army. Uh -oh. Okay, now the reavers oh, want to no. target the other reavers. Oh! Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I know. I think G5 just takes yeah, this one, man. The way. reavers are in a really good spot here. Here come the probes. Let's see how probes fare against scarabs, guys. Oh, okay. Not so well. Um, 
Legionnaire. Oh, but you know what? Legionnaire. 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 He's got that one reaver stuck over there. It doesn't have any scarabs left in it now. So he's going to try to drop the main. I actually can't believe Legionnaire held that. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> no, there's nowhere to. What? <laughs> Did he target the gate? Oh! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Did he target the gate? I think he I did. I think he actually right-clicked on the gate accidentally. Was well, this purposeful so that he didn't hit the, the day nine probe hallway and not hit anything? That's exactly what he was doing. He's yeah. going for an intimidation tactic where you get the shields a little bit lower and they go, damn, he's good. No, no, no. To, to have this <laughs> much. No, it's to force them to blow up on the gateway so they don't get glitched and pop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. But why wouldn't you just click on the probes if they're there like that? Well, did, well, is, is, is well, the are the corners through. of the gates that sticky for the scarabs? Well, it's that if you hit on a probe, and it is even a few pixels away from the probe that it's targeting, but it doesn't hit the probe, it will eventually just pop with, as a dud and deal no damage to anything. But if you right-click the gateway, it guarantees that it will connect to something, and likely the splash will pick off That's the That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I thought you guys were just trying to be funny, and I'm like, yeah, guys, I'm funny too. But apparently, <laughs> you guys are trying to be smart, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Tasis is funny but not smart. No, okay, we just, solved that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, man, G5 taking the third base here. I thought he was going to end that game with that push, but he's still, I think, as far as macro goes overall. Yeah, he just, just keeps really out supplying at least. Yeah. Yeah, it's... yeah, I mean, it's always a real treat when you're watching a good player play where they just have all these moves that they're making that are just, you know, compounded awesomeness. You know, he picks off that shuttle with very good defense, immediately counter pushes, which means he could probably win, and it doesn't work out, but then he has the third base up and more gateways coming. So this is a mistake, I think, for him G5 to move out. Right now, I think he should be going for Storm and defending against drops because he's way ahead, and that's the way to get more ahead. <gasps> So you're saying when someone gets ahead, they should get more ahead? Yeah, they should. Not just go kill them? No. Because oh. some probes oh. are about to die. That's interesting. Mm. Mm. There. Oh. What's that drop doing? Drop, 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 drop. Ah! Uh, what? Uh. There's no probes. <laughs> Did that, did that Reaver shoot a nuke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, did he? I, we I don't mean, know if he got any kills. What? what if no, we can click know. on the That's Reaver later, we can find out there. if there's kills there. That is quite a few Oh, probes. meanwhile. Yeah, meanwhile, G5, he's just bringing the noise at the main base. Well, this is the problem. Is sometimes if they do reaver drop you, you can actually just attack them because they don't have and the same number of reavers uh, back at home. Um, but is he actually going to be able to bust him here? Now that reaver's still back over there. Four kills, by the way, so he got some probes. Oh, he didn't pick it up wow. in time. Oh! 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 Wow. Wow. Whoa, Legionnaire. That reaver. All right, let's... the Reavers are a lot bigger in Australia, guys. Crazy. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my God. I... Oh man, that's painful. Oops, that's painful too. I kind of agree with what you're saying, though, uh, Noni. It's I... the thing with G5 though is that he's he's like one of these guys that kind of attacks a lot of times when other people wouldn't. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it, but it, but he's so good at controlling that it sort of works out. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole set of Protosses that like to attack when it's like an odd go timing. for it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he might just barely not have yeah. enough. Yeah. That's going to be a GG. GG. Wow. A strong showing from Legionnaire, but G5 is playing really nicely. Yeah. G5. Bring it over. Get that nerd. All right. I'm out of here, guys. All right. Let's... let's...